Hey guys, what's up? My name is Umair and you're watching I Umair. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about iPhone 6 after iOS 12. So it is a good option to buy iPhone 6 in 2018, but after updating to the iOS 12. So let's talk about this thing. So I will be talking about the performance, the battery and the cameras because these are the most important aspect of while in 2018 while the, everyone know what is the design is all about and everyone know about the display, display will be remain same but these two things let me talk about these things thing. Starting with the very first one is definitely the performance. Now the performance of iPhone 6 definitely was very great in the iOS 10 then iOS 11 k performance was really poor and people stopped buying the old iPhone because of iOS 11 because it was lagging, performance was poor, as for crashing and lot more problems. Then iOS 12 came out a few days back and now the iPhone 6 is a completely different phone in terms of the performance. So yeah, so let me tell you the benchmark first of all start. I will start with the benchmark obviously. So going over here then to the benchmark or result CPU and this is the benchmark of iOS 12.1 beta 1 on the iPhone 6. It is the highest ever on the iPhone 6 which is really great in the single core performance. It is the highest on the single core while on the iOS 12 public release. The multi-core was the highest one on the iPhone 6. So, so the performance wise iPhone 6 is really great, still a really great device in 2018. I use Snapchat regularly on this device, I use Instagram regularly on this device. I mean I love to use these things uh, in terms of social networking. I just love to use social network apps on this device. In terms of that it is really great. Uh, yes I do play few games but these games are not that high end but still Pokemon is a good game. Pokemon Go actually. So yeah these games are also working really good. So in terms of performance there is no issue with the performance in the iOS 12 with the iPhone 6. But if you are going to play high end games like PUBG or Fortnite then there is a problem. Fortnite cannot run on iPhone 6 so no Fortnite. In terms of PUBG I did install PUBG on this. I used PUBG on iOS 11. Yeah, it couple of times crashes and you know PUBG experience was not really good. But if you want to know that how PUBG goes on the iOS 12, let me know in the comment section below. I definitely bring that video for you guys too. But overall performance is really amazing on the iOS 12 in the iPhone 6. So in terms of performance, a big thumbs up. Moving to the next point, number two point is the cameras. So this is the important aspect you want to talk about. So if you're going to buy a device in uh, 2018 you definitely want a good camera setup definitely on the back you're getting 8 megapixel camera which shoots up to 1080p which is nice I like the quality outside outdoor quality is really amazing I am satisfied with the indoor quality too but outdoor quality is really amazing overall you can click good pictures and for social networking this is a really good camera for example for snapchat this is a really cool camera so in terms of rear camera setup it is okay with to go with this but talking about on the front facing camera now i am really disappointed with this one because it is just less than 2 megapixel which is very very low in 2018 in 2018 devices are coming with a 16 megapixel camera with 24 megapixel camera at least Apple is coming with 7 megapixel camera or Samsung is coming with 12 megapixel camera which are much much better than the front facing camera. So front facing camera in, to in total 18 is not up to mark. You will be really disappointed with that. So th thumbs down for the front facing camera according to 2018. Let's talk about the battery now. The battery is good on this device to be honest. Uh, it, it will give you around 2 or 15 minutes on screen time which is actually very low in terms of 2018 but somehow you will manage to use this device for a whole day. Sometimes I do manage to use it when I, when I use this device for only social networking or calls but if you are going to use this device for games then battery time is not really good. On iOS 12 battery time is really good to be honest. It not much increases but it gives you somehow a good battery time. But in terms of battery time in 2018 maybe you will not be satisfied as much as you should be. So thumbs down with the battery time in according to 2018 aspect. Now should you buy this iPhone 6 in 2018 is a big question after iOS 12. 
so if you want you if you just care about the performance go with this device you can buy this device if you want to use camera you are a camera guy or a selfie guy do not buy this device and if you want to play high-end games and you need a big battery do not buy this device Overall performance is good but in terms of high-end gamings and battery the device is not really good. So yeah if you just want to use this device as a regular for calls and messages and social networking this is still a really good option on the iOS 12 so you can buy that. Now here is a tip from my side that if you're going to buy iPhone 6 do not buy device less than 64 GP at least buy 64 GP because storage will be fun you cannot use external card definitely so yeah it will be really great to buy at least 64 GP or if you're wondering that if not iPhone 6 then which one so at least go with iPhone 6s in 2018 that will be helpful because in that you will get a better front facing camera a better battery and a better performance obviously and also uh, 3D touch which, which can be somehow very useful. So yeah, I think you got my answer. For performance, buy this. For cameras and battery, do not buy this. So that's it from this video. I hope you like this video. I hope you like this unexpected kind of video from my side. But I think it was very important after the iOS 12 that people should know that is it worth to buy or not. That's it from this video and I will catch you in my next video. Until that, take care and peace.